ladies I did say that I'll show you um, this little desktop picture holder so that's what we're going to be doing now and the way to do that is you need a six inch wide piece of card you need a really really firm piece of card for this for it to stand up and it'll last a while anyway so six inch wide by six inches long so six inch square and then what you need to do is you need to measure it two inches in so I'll just put that in you can see that measure two inches in oh, let's get that right right two inches in and mark it again from the bottom two inches in and mark it and then what you need to do is you need to do some um, scoring along the largest section left and the way to do that is you need to turn your paper around take your ruler or if you've got one of those little fandango machines you can use one of them but I don't go in an inch measure an inch both sides make sure it's straight and then just run a blade of some sort um, not the sharp end obviously I turn mine upside down and score it measure it an inch again along the longest part and you score that an inch again and score that One, two, and your fourth inch score it and you score it again on the last inch then what you need to do is from the last fold put your knife in make sure you've got a ruler hold it firm and you need to cut from the that inch all the way to that one so you're cutting along one two three four inches that's all you need to do with that then when you've done that you need to um, fold the card in half so you've got that you've now got a piece like that when you've done that you fold I'll do it from this way because that's the way I'm doing uh, showing you fold your first section in then out then in then out like a concertina and you end up with that shape so that's what you're folding like that you've one big fold here which is the middle and then you fold these in the opposite directions and you have to go outwards inwards outwards inwards outwards so you get that shape and that's your desktop holder press really firm down on the creases then what you're going to do with that I mean really you can have these as long as you want the thicker the card the better um, but I'm just using ordinary th uh, card here so then what you need you can put a little name plate which I've just hand cut out just to show you bit of tape on one side you can even put what you want on the stamp it beforehand and uh, put somebody's name in it if you're giving it as a gift centre that and pop that on so you've got it like that really the wrong colour card to do actually but never mind then you need a little piece of card um, which will fit just there on that side turn that round like that bit of tape on the back Ooh, came off first time then and you tape that on don't forget you'll match your colours up and everything I'm just showing you I always use my scrap paper for demonstrations you need another piece of card you can have different sizes I've done two slightly different sizes um, and uh, depending on however long you've got this because it doesn't have to be six it can be you need six be six uh, six that way but it doesn't have to be six this way the length ways and then a bit of tape on the back and we'll have that in the front and put it on the first step like that a bit of tape on the next one stick that on the back step like that and then you can add whatever you want 
pictures, bit of writing, I don't know, whatever you want. If you did it on firmer card, really strong, thick card, um, once you've got your back card on, then you can use it to rest, like um, um, address cards and things like that. Just use it as a desk holder for people's names and addresses or whatever, little cards that you pick up here and there. Um, and that's it, basically. Quick and easy to do. Let me see what time it is. I'm going to quickly run through that again. You want your six by six, or you can do six across, uh, sorry, six the length ways, and you can extend this out as long as you want it. Then what you're going to do is measure in an inch, uh, two inches is the side bit, it's going to be two inches wide, then measure in an inch and cut from that to an inch at the bottom, so it gives you that gap. Then what you're going to do is score this every inch, fold them in and out like a concertina, and there you have it. And then add your cards at the back, little nameplate, little card here with a flower and a picture on or whatever you want. And there you go. And you end up with this. And quite cute to have on your desk. Nice little project for little girls and boys to do their desks or to give us a gift that's it ladies not sure what else I'll be doing today um, there will be something <laughs> you might get fed up but uh, I don't thanks a lot ladies bye bye